blessings. We're back in another video. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the new camera quality, man. I'm loving it. It's making me want to make more videos. But this one's going to be about seven signs God is keeping you single. And this video is going to be very, very powerful and so truthful because I also experienced this too. So I'm going to be giving you guys the signs that you should look out for. And I remember when I was single before I got married, um, there was a lot of things I was seeing, but I wasn't sure of it. But as I got mature, I started to see, oh, okay, this is why this is happening. So let's get it. Let's go. Number one. Number one sign God is keeping you single is you expect your partner to fulfill your needs. You want to get in a relationship and have, you know, that person be God. Okay, you, that, that person, you're relying on that person for everything. You're no longer relying on God for your strength. Uh, you no longer, and one thing I noticed when this would happen to me too, like I would kind of drift away from God. And when you, whenever I, like I always tell you guys, whenever you're drifting away from God, you're getting closer to sin. Okay, you're getting closer to your flesh. So that's one re, one of the signs that God is keeping you single is because you're expecting someone to fulfill your needs. Like let's say if you, you struggle with lust, oh let me get married because I you know I can have I can have intercourse without sin, right? But no, because that's unfulfilling spiritually. Okay, so. You know, I understand a lot of us, a lot of a men or women, you all want to get married because you don't want to, you know, be out here and sinning, right? But at the same time, you have to rely on God and wait for God for Him to fulfill your needs inside you, spiritually, okay? So always keep that in mind. Uh, sometimes we could be, you know, looking for the, uh, a partner to have them fulfill the needs that only God can give us. And, you know, you can't get that from another man or another woman, okay? So always keep that in mind. All right, and also none of this is in order too, by the way. All right, number two is you are still hurting. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You are still hurting from past relationships, okay? Let's say you just got out of a relationship or a marriage like four months ago, bro. You just got, and let's say y'all together for like a year, two years, five years, 10 years, whatever, right? You're not ready to just jump in the next relationship. You have to now have time to heal, you know, and there's many Bible verses. This is why I told you guys to meditate on God's word. So whenever you're going through a season of hurt, I remember the Bible says there's a time of love and a time to hate and a time of peace and a time of war, a time to heal and a time to break down. Okay, so always keep that in mind. You are still hurting from past relationships. God's not going to put you in a new relationship. And let's say, let's say, right, you just got out of a relationship. You just, and a long-term relationship, not something that was just like a week or two weeks. I'm talking about like a year, two years. Uh, you just, uh, y'all just got out of a marriage. And you think that person that, you know, two months later you find a new person, you think that person's from God? There's no way, bro. There is no way that that person, you just got a marriage 20 years, now you just jumped out of another, uh, jumped to another next relationship. It's not, it doesn't work like that, okay? And you got to understand when you do this, okay, you have soul ties with people that you haven't even healed from, you haven't even been delivered from, and you're jumping from the next relationship. It's not going to work, okay? I'm letting y'all know, bro. I'm telling y'all from experience, man. You have to wait Spend some time with God. That's why I talk about isolation in my videos. So you can, and when you're isolated, you're just it's just you and God. Now it's time for you to learn. Oh, I'm speaking too fast because that's one number four. Speaking too fast. Hold up, hold up. And also, guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Number three, and yes, I speak fast. This is how I am. Sorry, I can't help it. Number three, you don't have time to date. Higher calling. Okay. Yes, there are some people. Um, Paul. Paul in the Bible, he didn't have a wife. Okay. He didn't. I don't think he had a girlfriend. None of that. And he just had a higher calling. And there's a Bible verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 32 to 35. It talks about the people who are married, they care to please their wife or they care to please their husband. You know, that they could find themselves being distracted. So if you want to live your life for the Lord, you give your body to the Lord, your temple, remember our bodies are just temples. And, you know, you, you just don't desire a marriage. You don't desire a family. You just desire to live for the Lord, to do God's, you know, do God's uh, kingdom work. That's perfectly fine, okay? Whether you're a man or, or a woman, okay? So always keep that in mind. But always keep this in mind, too. You can't say you don't desire to be married, but you out here doing your thing every other week with different women or different men. That's being a hypocrite. So clearly, the Bible even says that it's better to marry than to burn. Okay, so if you find yourself struggling with corn um, or all those, you know, sexual morality stuff, then, you know, you should be desiring, you should desire to get married so you don't burn. Okay, so always keep that in mind. All right, number four is you are not spiritually mature, okay? Yes, you are not spiritually mature. What did I mean by this is, um, you're, like, this kind of correlates with number one. You're not there yet mentally, spiritually, for you to lead a woman. Or, and, th and this video is for not just for men, but for women too. I'm gonna speak, give me, give me all a second. Yeah, I speak fast, so just wait, okay? So when it comes to, um, you know, cause as a man, a man's duty in a marriage is to provide, protect, lead, 
okay? Uh, if you don't have a prayer life, uh, if you don't have a job, um, you still live with your mom, you know? And if you're like in your 20s or, you know, you just wasn't to what I'm saying. You're in your 20s, it's all good. You're still young, blah, blah. But you're not spiritually mature yet to lead a woman, okay? Also for you sisters, right? Um, let's say, for instance, you know, um, you don't have a relationship with the Most High. You're kind of like lukewarm. You're, you're playing church. You're not spiritually mature or you're not in your word. You're not meditating. You're not applying it to your life. Okay, you're not spiritually mature and ready to, you know, submit to a man and have him be your head. So when you're not spiritually mature, God is not going to give you a marriage, bro. He's not going to do it because it's going to be chaos. You have to know God's laws, God's word, so how so a marriage could prosper. Okay, and you got to understand this too. For those of you already, most of you guys already know this. When you're in a marriage, spiritual warfare is going to turn up on another level. Okay, the devil doesn't like when two. Uh, when Eve and Adam get together, you know, when a man and woman gets together, he's going to try to do what he does to, to separate you guys, okay? He's going to use people, use family, and he's always going to get try to get to the woman first, okay? Just like how the devil did with Eve. He didn't go to Adam first. He went to Eve because he knew Eve was a weaker vessel. Eve is more prone to being deceived. So that's how this could have worked. So you have to get a woman who's really who's really about this walk, bro, who's really about this walk and who's not trying to be lukewarm. Uh, she respects your authority. She respects your spirit. She respects your relationship with the most high, most importantly. And she's like, okay, I, that's a man I could get with. That's a man who I know who's going to provide for, our, for my children. If y'all have children, uh, to provide for the household, I don't have to worry, you know? And you get with a man of God, some of y'all don't even have to work. Okay, all you have to do literally is just serve that man and you live good, comfortably. Woo! <laughs> Let's go, okay? So, yeah, you're not spiritually mature yet. I remember this happened to me too. I was 25 when I first picked up uh, my cross and followed uh, God. And I was still living with my mom, bro. I was making like $800 a month. I was completely broke. I wasn't ready for a marriage, bro. Like, I didn't know the Bible back then. I didn't know anything. I was not ready for a marriage. So I understand why it was time and time that I had to wait to get to where I'm at now. So yeah, just be patient. I'm gonna speak on that in a little bit. All right, number five is, ooh, this is deep. Man, this is a classic, bro. Yup. Testimony after testimony, man. All right, you are living in disobedience, rebelling, okay? The Bible says rebelling is a sin of witchcraft, okay? You're living in disobedience. God's not gonna bless you with a wife or with a husband, right? If you're living like, like the devil, if you're living of the, if you're being of the world, you know? And the Bible does say this too in the Apocrypha that a wicked woman is given over to a wicked man. And a godly um, man is given to the woman who fears the Lord, okay? Or sorry, a godly woman is given to a man who fears the Lord, okay? So always keep that in mind. God's not going to bless you with a godly wife. And, and you being a chosen one, you have to be with someone who's godly. You have to be with someone who has morals, who has standards, who follows the Bible. Okay, you have to. Because we don't want to be out here unequally and yoked. Okay, with unbelievers or with lukewarm people or people who, who love God and love the devil. There's a lot of people like that who are double-minded and they're unstable in all their ways. Okay, so always keep that in mind. God's not going to bless you with a godly wife, a Proverbs 31 woman, right? If you're out here living in disobedience, you're out here being a warmonger. You're out here living in rebellion. It's just not gonna work, bro. You want the blessings from God? You gotta be obedient, bro. Straight up. You want the go. You want God's blessings? You gotta do things His way. You want Satan's blessings, which is just a curse? Do things His way. You know, live a life of sin and forget. You no, know, don't live a life with God. So always keep that in mind, man. God's always keep this in mind. God is not gonna give you a godly wife, a godly husband, if you ain't doing being obedient to His word. Straight facts, man. You gotta fear God for in order for you to get a godly wife, all right? Number six is, and also, in these last days, let me add on this real quick. There's not many godly people, man or a woman, so the only way you're to get that godly wife, godly husband, if, it, if God directly sends that person your way, directly, you out here going to the club, you out here going to parties, and you out here going to uh, these day naps, you ain't gonna find your wife through that, bro. A godly wife ain't, ain't happening, bro. Literally has to be handpicked and sent from God, bro, straight up, let's go, woo, number six is God does not want you to be, does not want you to settle for less. Yes, this kind of correlates with number five, okay? You're out here. Remember, God's patient with us. God has grace for us. We fall short, right? So let's say if you do make a mistake, you're in the season of where you're, you know, you're weak. And now you're out here dealing with a certain man, dealing with a certain woman. And you know that that person's not the most high. You know that person's not walking in truth. That person doesn't have Christ in their life. And But you really like that person. Okay, you really like that person and see, God does not want you to settle for less because best believe these people now, they could be chosen in the future. We don't know. You know, only God's the one who handpicks people, okay? But always keep this in mind. 
you know, God wants you to be with a man or a woman who, who's spiritually mature, just like how you're going to be spiritually mature, who knows what, who, when a person fears God, they, they move differently, they think differently, okay, they're not going to do certain things like the people of the world are going to do, okay, so there's a lot of times where, you know, there were certain people who I liked, but I knew that they weren't, they weren't right with God, I knew that they weren't right with the Most High, and, you know, God did not want me to, so he, he didn't bless it, God did not want, want me to settle for less, because that's what I was really doing, you know, and I'm so glad God had his hand on me because, man, it would have been danger. It would have been chaos being with the wrong per person, being unequally yoked. Y'all don't want to be out here being unequally yoked. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you to have the same faith with you. I say keep it moving, kick rock, straight up. Okay, number seven is, oh, also the Bible says, how could two walk together except they be agreed? Amos chapter three, verse three. Number seven is, God is working on your faith and patience, okay? Yes, God is working on your faith and patience. One thing that I struggle with, some of you guys might struggle with too as well, is patience, you know, long suffering and waiting on God, waiting on God's blessing because always understand that God's timing is better than your timing. So just because you haven't got it yet, that's just because God is, he's molding you up, he's preparing you, he's making you spiritually mature, okay? You know, you're growing through the fruits of the spirit, you're exercising that. And in due time, your patience and, your, and through your faith and through your charity and through your love and through your hope, in due time, remember the Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give thy desires of the heart. Okay, Psalm chapter 37, verse four. So you keep on doing that, bro. And in due time, or sis, and in due time, he's gonna give you what you want. So I hope you guys got edified from this video. These are seven signs God is keeping you single. If you made it this far and you want to support me, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.